Hello, ladies and gentlemen, devil hunters, angels, and demons. Welcome back to Agents of Chaos Gaming with DMC, Devil May Cry Definitive. Last time, we did a bunch of uh, secret missions because we had a bunch of those to do. This time, we're going to actually continue the plot. And the plot is... Ba home base is under attack, so let's go save the day. Also doing the secret missions, I actually got another upgrade point, so let's drop that on something real quick. Let's put that yeah. into... Uh, what would be a good one, actually? Oh, let's put that in the show. I'll oh, give that in a little uh, booster. Mm. And let's go. Start mission. Hey, I try to show off. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's like, hey, here's some of the cool stuff you can do. It's kind of neat, though, that it does that. Something to look mm. at. Ah, oh, shit, it's the cops. I got you the first. Hang in there, guys. I'm on my way. Yeah, but they just... They decided to say, nope, you're not going nowhere. Guys, the world's warping again. Actually, I don't know if the cops can see it or if it's just, uh, Dante. Anyway, got I mean, a whole cool enemy. I mean, Beyblade! Are the, are the cops demons, or are they normal? I'm not sure, actually. Like, I know they're under Mundus's payroll, probably. Yeah. Even everyone is in the city, but I don't know if they're actually demons themselves. Ah, yeah, we have a new enemy type here. The Butcher. Uh, it looks like a Silent Hill looking thing. It really does, honestly. Well, except more like... The, more fighting game inspired. You know what I see Silent a Hill. big glaring weakness on the crotch. What's that, that? Well, it's more of the stomach than crotch, but yeah, basically the fastest way to do damage to the Butcher is... Go for that thing. The problem is, of course, this dude loves to spin his blades like no tomorrow. But once he's he's spinning healthy, the wheels. And he also self destructs when he's low on health, so you know, you gotta watch out for that. It still does look like a brighter, new, more neo spot version of Silent Hill. It really does, does have a, that kind of thing. Anyway, so to explain our new uh, weapon, by the way, since. Uh, I haven't really been uh, talking about how this thing works. Is they are throwing stars. I mean, that sh should sound self explanatory, but. That should sound self explanatory, but there is obviously more to it. Um, hitting the B button while using them actually does throw them. And you can use these to, like, stun lock enemies in place while you're whipping them around with other weaponry, and then this is what the regular melee attack looks like. So you're just throwing out a bunch of them and that come back to you. One other nice thing with these things is what you can do with them for exploration. So, they open the same doors as the ones that Osiris can open up, but you can do something like this. And cut apart doors that are blocked that you can't reach with Osiris. <laughs> Where are yeah. you guys? That's why pretty much once you get access to these uh, glaives, you can pretty much go back and just pick up anything that you lost or you missed on uh, previous runs. Because this is more or less your last exploration tool. The other two weapons that we get access to later don't really unlock anything. Oh, so that's me goofing up there. Actually, no. I forgot. I can still do it from down here. Spinny. Yeah, I think the only problem is is that I can't. Is you're supposed to actually throw it from up there and then like jump across. Actually, hold on, I'm just gonna do this as I can. Should set me back right before the enemy attack. Never mind. 
I, oh no, it did. Cool. Now I'll just do a quick little bit of backtracking, no big deal. Where are you guys? So let's not do that again this time. Blade into that. The last thing I want to do is actually fall off the edge again. Hop down over there. So I have to cut it up. And boom. And we got ourselves a last bowl. Oh gosh, that line. <laughs> I forgot that's what that was. Uh, so the achievement for getting all of the lost souls is. A reference to one of the cringiest lines that has ever been recorded in Devil May Cry history. Hmm. And it's only cringy just because of the way it's vocally delivered. Also, man, just died. Cat! Where are you? And maybe one of these days I will actually, like, go through and uh, play Devil May Cry 1 on the channel, and you can see that. Ugh, that line is so honky. <laughs> <sighs> like, that would probably be one of the saddest things. Like, if they ever did remake Devil May Cry 1, which I honestly wish they would, just so they could update it to play more like the modern DMCs, I would. That would be like one of the few things that would be sad to lose, because you would. They probably like re-record the line. Just keeping them out. Yeah, we got another butcher here, trying to get it this uh, thing here. And yeah, butchers are nasty because they will throw saws. And not just in like horizontal configurations, they'll do it vertically too. So like you can't just jump over them because they might whip some that right at your face. They are honestly probably some of the nastiest enemies in the game. That being said, if you're good at dodging, you can get around them pretty easily. I still would not count them as the worst enemy in the game. That one has yet to show itself. At least what I personally consider to be the most annoying enemy in the game. And that's saying something considering we've had the witches show up. But, you know, it's pretty much just gotta be careful if you're gonna, when you get close range in here. Because, yeah, their attacks do come out really quickly. And then they self-destruct, as I mentioned before. Speaking of which... I mean, this is one of the so good fun. spots for, uh using a cool because you can basically do that to her and then go and focus on something else. It's an ugly bastard. Yep, we have another fat bastard. He's on fire. Yeah, because he's oh. in rage mode. And actually that witch uh, did me a favor by throwing her shield on him. Why are you so angry, man? I don't know. It feels like how I'm just kind of like keeping him off screen just so he's like not bothering me. <laughs> uh, that's why he's mad. He's not getting his screen time. Pay attention to me, you jerk. I just want to notice my face into you. Notice me, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God, the sick. There we go. You know, you noticed him. I noticed him uh, and I killed him. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, this is a very interesting set piece because it's another one of those instances where, like, you're in limbo, but you can still see things happening in the real world, and you're, like, moving alongside of it. It's an interesting little uh, setup. I do like this level for that reason. I know I hear it. It's like, right... Oh no, there it is. No. That's right, Cat. You keep him out. She knows we're here. We need a demo. Also the music now. right here. Yeah, so the tornado move in the original version of the game, back when the 
um, style meter was very, very easy to please. You could just triple S rank entire levels just by surviving off of that move alone once you have and, and uh, once you had it, yeah, you could just destroy trying to get triple S with that thing. <laughs> But with this version, it's been retooled, so it's not as easy to just spam it. Uh, no, not now. And yeah, we got more of these shard things. I forget what they're called. Demon oh, shards, if I remember. Yeah, demon shards, if I remember correctly. Is that dead? Good, all that. Fuck it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I googled that. God, Good that, one. that is a phrase that has been ruined by some people. Oh yeah, I just got a bunch of basic demons in here. So, I do like how, like, even in the in the limbo, the server rooms all like slightly twisted and stuff. Oh, here, a chainsaw man. Yep, there he is. I love that monk. I love that monk. <laughs> uh. uh, isn't that gonna announce for an anime or? or yeah, like yeah. Studio Mappers. Studio Mappers doing an anime adaptation later this year, supposedly. Huh. And so I'm just like, what? So the guys that are finished, yeah. that finished AOT are doing another shit big show. Doing another big show, and uh, what they adapt them? Uh, yeah, uh, which is basically the Shonen Jump thing that uh, that is started off relatively normal and then went into existential mode. <laughs> <laughs> everyone starts reading. Everyone started reading it, going, going like, um, "Oh, this seems fun," and they finish it. What the fuck did I just read? <laughs> Get out! Place is overrun. Ah, there it is. Get out of here! Damn it! Can anybody hear me? No, you're in limbo, Dante. Shit. I know one of these directions is uh, just collectible. I'm just trying to make sure which one. Okay. That one basically just says straight up, "Hey, wrong way, doofus." And oh, we're telling. That's not very nice. I do still love that slowdown. Every time. Hmm. I hear another one. Where's it at? There you are. There's one thing I do appreciate with those lost souls is that they make noise. So it's like you start hearing it, it's like, oh, there's a thingy nearby. Someone's suffering. <laughs> yep. One thing I am trying to keep my eye open for is I know there's a in this level. To... There's a key and a door, so I'd like to try and get both of them if I can. I also do hear another one somewhere. I'm like playing Marco El Polo with this one. Hmm. Nope, there's the door. Just found that. In here. Yeah, there's our door. But I don't have a key on me. Well, let's see if I can go find one. Also, I do love how, like, there's alarms glaring and all this crap going off, but I'm just hunting for collectibles. Ah, there you are. Where, oh, where is the key? Is there another red thing back there? Uh, might have been one of those, uh, hmm. like, red orb pods that tend to grow on the walls. Yeah. I see all. <laughs> I just don't know anything. <sighs> okay, what the heck? Oh, is this an invisible wall? I think it is. Okay.
That would be just random demonic screaming every so often, that's fun. Now I'm just hoping I'm not going completely backwards. I'm actually starting to wonder, am I just going back completely backwards? Nope, I think that's the right way, because there's a, uh... Yeah, alright. Now we're back on track. Ooh. Those shadows got murdered by other shadows. Well, yeah, I do also love just because of the fact that there is an obviously friendly fire between the demons. Just freaking Butcher just whipped a bunch of saws and slammed the, his frontline buddies with them. Ugh, that's not cool. Bruce, why'd you do that? <laughs> I don't know why he's thinking. not wins, Bruce, not so Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Dave from accounting is being a fucking idiot again. Yeah? <sighs> Grab that. Boom. What was that? Oh, there he is. What are you smiling Ugh. at? Oh, I hate these things. What? Yeah, that doesn't give you a hint to his gimmick. Why does the red hood look like that? On, bitch. Say hello to the Dreamweaver. Oh. This is his, and that is his gimmick. He likes to teleport around. The other thing oh, so that he will do is he will actually block your attack. No matter oh, what so difficulty bit... you're on, he will parry you. And then oh, every so often he's... he will do that. Oh, so he's a bitch then. Uh... <sighs> In many senses of the word, yes. He is a Come pain here. to fight, and there is a lesser variant of him as well that is hey, also annoying. But this particular one likes to what run off. Hell was that? A absolute pain in the ass, Dante. That's what that was. Cap I hate those enemies. Those are Cap what I consider to be the worst ones. Dante. I'm here. I don't know what to do. Where's Virgil? He's probably in the in the server room, the octagon, but he might be trapped in limbo. How do we get to him? I don't know. I'm stuck in here. Is there something I can do from limbo to break you out? Think. There may be a way. I'll guide you. So yeah, orders under attack. And now we gotta go save Virgil. And I still managed to miss the key somehow. Yep, there's another one I have to come back and uh, find later. Also, I died? When did I die? Oh, mm -hmm. no, that's right, I forgot. If you do a restart from checkpoint, that actually counts as a death, oh. even if you didn't die. I was like, that's why I was confused. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't die. That's weird. But uh, yeah, so next time hmm, we go to one of the actually more unique levels in this game and go and save our uh, brother. So come back for that. Ciao. <laughs> yep. See ya.